Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Portal 2. We just got finally up to this catwalk after dealing with all this crazy propulsion gel. So let's see what we have in store for us on this one. So we got gel and we got water. We have a cube in there. To break that glass. Will this. Will the cube break the glass like this? Oh, it's bouncy. Looks like it's working. Maybe. Hey, it worked. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Now, can I set this down without it bouncing? No. Okay. Can we clean it off? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. Gotta get to the exit there. Which means more breaking glass. Or... Oh, no, there's a lift. Okay, so the lift is controlled by the button. There we go. Now, how do I get myself over there? have to use this gel, I'm sure. some over here. Maybe just to throw us off. Maybe this is pointless over here. I don't know. Um, well, we could fling ourselves, but I don't know what that really buys us. Really, we need some gel right here. Is there a way... Oh, oh, we could just do this. Like that. Is that all we need to do? Oh, but then we have to... To get the cube off the button, which I guess we can do with another portal. Aha! Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not Mary save science if they love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that will keep you on the bus on the way out? Because you are fire! Now you just a subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Good goodbye. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. picture of Cave Johnson there. Elevator to the surface. I like the sound of that. Can we get in there? Doesn't look like it. Go 
guess we gotta go over there, maybe? Get in here. Yes. Pump station beta. Okay. Oh, we have orange gel now. I think the orange one is the one that makes you go fast. Okay, we can fling ourselves somewhere. Where? Maybe just there? What does that do for us? Is that just gonna have us hit our head? Oh, and then there? Aha! Pump station beta. Turn on the pumps. Crazy how huge this place is. Wow, that looks that looks nuts. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? <laughs> right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. <laughs> you can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. <laughs> so, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Welcome to Aperture, where the science is theoretical, but your $60 is fact. Moving platform. Keep to the left. Do not litter. Do not loiter. Do not touch glass. Well, I'm curious. Is this something or nothing? Uh, looks like there's no buttons or anything. So I think we gotta go this way. Maybe we'll come back to that later. Test subject waiting area. Take a number. <laughs> $60. Guy has a yacht. <laughs> Cash! Gotta really sell the cash there. Number 23. Remember, alert your supervisor if you see OSHA inspector. <laughs> Nuclear regulatory commissioner. A journalist. That's funny. Looks like an old IBM monitor there. That's cool. Except the knobs are on the wrong side. Okay. I don't see anything we can actually do in here, though. And he said don't touch anything. So maybe that's not where we need to go. Maybe we have to fling ourselves from there somehow. Get up there. Yeah. Okay, so if I fling myself... What does that do for me? Oh, well I can go in here. Maybe these old 
tape drives. Wow. Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. <laughs> Is that like a prisoner escape? I mean, I know we're wearing an orange jumpsuit. Oh, maybe we need to get there. That would make more sense. Uh, except, oh, maybe that lift goes up and over to there. Oh, and then there's the control room. Okay. I am understanding now, sort of. So we need to get into the control room somehow. Is that what this fling will do for us? Maybe? From there? Let's try it. Yes. We barely made that. I think they guided, gave us a little guided assistance there. Gladys. We found Gladys. So we have to trust Gladys to let us out. So now she's attached to our portal gun. Can we fling ourselves over there? Maybe? The lift just went up, so maybe. Is this gonna work? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay, well we got Gladys with us now, so I guess this is gonna be quite the adventure, trying to get her plugged back into the system. Don't know if we want to do that, but I guess we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.